Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will discuss what is oxidative addition. So this is one of the general representation of oxidative addition. What happens? Two ligands or two atoms of a molecule or two entities or two ions of from a particular ligand molecule get added to the central metal atom of a complex. After this addition there happen some changes for example oxidation state of the metal increases by two units coordination number of the metal get increased by two units two new anionic ligands are added to the metals so these x and y are what they are anionic you know ligands or part of the molecule here you can see in this particular example see central metal atom that is rhodium is having four coordination number after addition of H2 coordination number became six here oxidation state was plus one and it became plus three similarly why how it became plus three because it has given two electrons to the coordinating you know anions or anionic ligands okay for uh, you know this oxidative addition to occur there should be some conditions fulfilled for example there are three conditions first one is availability of non bonded electron density on the metal so this metal atom should have non bonded electron density what does it mean it means electrons should be in very low oxidation states for example 0 or you know plus 1 not more than that otherwise electron density will not be available it may get you know higher also but you know you know ideal situation is that metal should be in plus 1 or 0 oxidation state ok second condition is there should be two vacant coordination sites on the central metal atom in the complex then only it will be able to coordinate two more ligands and the third condition is the central metal atom should have two stable oxidation states which are separated by two for example here you can see rhodium is having plus one oxidation state here plus the here both oxidation states are separated by two and both are stable so similar example you can consider is iron iron plus 2 iron plus 4 fe plus 2 fe plus 4 so both oxidation states are stable and both are separated by 2 so these are some of the condition which must be fulfilled oxidative addition is very important step of homogeneous catalysis and there is other important thing is that you must know whether there should be cis addition or trans addition so there is a empirical rule that whenever there is homonuclear system or you know non-polar system then the atoms or ions or ligands will be you know adding cis to each other for example here you can see chlorine chlorine both are these chlorine atoms they have been added cis to each other right so this is a cis addition similarly oxygen is also non-polar cis addition but in case of mei this is a polar you know entity so the me and i both will be cis not cis trans to each other at 180 degree so this you have to keep in mind okay so interesting thing you can see here uh, you know this is coordinatively unsaturated that means what is number is 4 here after addition 6 oxidation state is plus 1 here plus 3 this is 16 electron complex this is 18 electron complex right so these are the changes which happen after coordination this oxidative addition so there are some important homogeneous catalysis where oxidative addition happens you can see here hydrogenation of alkene by Wilkinson catalyst so this you know addition of H2 
is is the example of oxidative addition similarly in case of cativa process addition of ch3 is an example of oxidative addition similarly in suzuki coupling this is an example of oxidative addition so in this way oxidative addition is one of the very important step in homogeneous catalytic process thank you so much for watching the video if you are really liking the video you can subscribe the channel thank you